Ezekiel 38 verse 4. What does it say? All of them handling swords. Persia, Ethiopia and Libya with them. All of them handling shield and helmet. Now I'm going to spend a bit of time on Persia. I haven't time to look at the others tonight. Where's Persia? Well, it's the area of Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan and Pakistan. Well, that's the empire there of ancient Persia. Have a look where the influence of Iran is now. There it is. It's now sweeping in and having a big influence in Afghanistan. It's starting to have an influence in Pakistan. Pakistan says we will not oppose the moves taking place here in Yemen by Iran. Iran is moving into here where the ISIS are and America is asking them to do it. Part of the deal they're signing at the moment is that Iran should take control of those regions. And they're permitting it. Crazy. Look what the papers, the Times of Israel said, Iran wants to revive the Persian Empire and it's trying to do that. How is it going to do it? Well, it's been developing these. Look at the missiles they've got. Take this one here, can do that sort of range. This one, this sort of range. This one here can get anywhere in the world. It goes into orbit. It's what they call an ICBM. And now when it comes out of orbit, it enters the country at 14,000 kilometres an hour. No missile is known ground to air to be able to intercept one at that speed. And Iran has developed them. But Iran's not only doing that, it's developing nuclear weapons with the assistance of Russia. Does that surprise us? Of course not. What the scripture says, Russia and Persia will be there together. Last year, America tried to stop Iran developing nuclear weapons. They were talking about it. Going to sign a deal in November the 25th, just before that date, just before that date, Russia came and said, we'll build two nuclear reactors in Iran, two more, and we'll give you another eight a little later on. Iran does not need nuclear reactors. It's got all the energy it needs in the world. It's one of the world's leading producers of oil. What does it want all these nuclear reactors for? There's only one reason you can really think about. Atom bombs. And then, Israel troubled by planned Russian missile sale. Look at the date, a few days ago. Israel is now looking at, very worried at these things, because they know the first person to attack or first country to attack would be them. So they're very worried about it. And Russia gave them ground-to-air missiles, the very best Russia can provide. Is it that what the Bible said? Russia will be with Iran or Persia. And so, now the, he's been over talking to the Iranians and saying, please stop building atom bombs. All right? And he thinks he's got a deal. But the leading newspaper in Australia, The Australian, and the leading foreign editor of The Australian, a very famous writer, said this. Look at the date, only a few days ago, US President Obama has now effectively guaranteed that Iran will effectively acquire nuclear weapons. In what will be a black day for the hopes of peace and stability for anyone, in the world. World War. And he's the leading writer there. He was utterly shocked at what was going on. And Iran is very, very powerful in many other ways. Very quickly, look at this. They can close the Straits of Hormuz there, out of which about 40% of the world's oil comes at the moment. They can close it and they had manoeuvres on December the 25th this last year and they closed it for a few days just to show what they can do. They can cripple the world's economy, close down all the petrol stations and so forth worldwide. And so we can see the situation going on there. Well, will Iran or the ISIS power destroy Israel? 
The Iranian military leader says the destruction of Israel is not negotiable. We're not going to talk with America about not destroying Israel. We will destroy it. That's the implication. 